All right, so today's album, uh, great album, one of uh, our favourite bands, certainly at the moment, and uh, a band that we've seen quite recently. So um, I was trying to think of uh, an album to feature, and uh, this kind of came up in the first kind of point of my mind. I thought, yes, I, I probably should feature this album. So uh, album of the week this week is Disturbed, Indestructible. And um, we saw... <laughs> I hear Natural Mermaid in the background. Yes! <laughs> Um, we featured uh, 10,000 Fists before, uh, we featured that a while ago, uh, probably about six to eight months ago we featured it, one of the first albums we featured, uh, so I thought it was time to feature another one of their albums, and uh, we saw Disturbed a few weeks ago, they put on an incredible show, uh, they were really good, and there were some really positive um, messages in what they were talking about, and they did a whole kind of, uh, sort of, Part of their show was kind of remembering a lot of the fallen musicians recently, like Chester Bennington um, and other people as well. Uh, all kinds of people. I think they, who else was it? I think as well. Um, the, what's his name from Audio Slave? I've forgotten his name now. Chris Cornell, Chris Cornell and uh, a bunch of other people who'd sadly uh, passed away recently. And he, David Draymond from Disturbed, was saying how um, you know he's lost a lot of friends because they were his friends, and it was very kind of moving. Um, when he was talking about it, and um, yeah, it was just a really amazing show. And if you get if you can get to see them, guys, I really recommend it. They were put on an amazing show. Um, so yeah, so Disturbed, Indestructible, and the artist is David Finch. I had to look him up because I actually didn't know much about him really. Um, I was always under the impression that it was a painter, but I was actually uh, incorrect on this. Oh, I've got my uh, I've got my flames on already, and my glasses on already because Reviver. Uh, has uh oh it's really weird my camera my camera's low down let me i think i think it's actually fallen down there we go there we go oh well now i'm nowhere near let's try that just sorting my camera out a bit guys because i'm a bit i'm a bit low down let's try that on the main camera i think my camera that's better i think my camera may have slipped and i didn't realize because it's been a while since i streamed that's better um so yeah so uh disturbed indestructible uh, it's, this album's actually 10 years old already. It was done in 19, uh, 19, 2008. And uh, I always liked how their mascot looks something out of the Im of Image Comics. Well, it's funny you should say that, uh, Vector, because um, he is actually, uh, it was actually, this cover was done by a comic comic book guy, which I didn't realise. I, I assumed it was a painter. But it's actually a very well-known uh, comic illustrator called David Finch. And uh, in terms of the track list on this um on this album, I mean, Indestructible is probably the one that I, I know the, the most. And Inside the Fire, another great song. Uh, some of the rest I'm not too familiar with. But those two songs at the top, I definitely know quite well. And they're on my playlist quite regularly. So, um, in terms of the artist, David Finch. So, he's a Canadian-born comic book artist. Uh, he has worked uh, for Marvel. He's worked for DC. He's worked on the Avengers comics. Um, and he's also done work for Disturbed. That's kind of like the main his main kind of resume, but he has literally done so much work, so much so much comic book work. I had no idea. Um, it's really really impressive what, what the kind of work he's done. The only tr trouble is finding information about him online is quite difficult. He doesn't have his own portfolio, which is crazy. But I guess he's so good that he doesn't actually need to do a portfolio. Uh, he's got his own website, but it doesn't actually. Hey, Nick's here. Rock on, Nick. Rocking the purple there on your name in the chat. Thank you very much. Very nice. Um, so these are so, these are some of the comic. So if you go on Marvel and you go David Finch, there's like a, an area of Marvel just for his covers, which is quite impressive. So these are some of the covers he's put together. Some absolutely stunning covers. Um, I mean, look at that Spider Man. That is absolutely supreme. Absolutely awesome. And the level of detail he puts into his covers is uh, really impressive. Really, really impressive. So if you go on Marvel, you can see quite a bit about him. Uh, then if you go, um, get rid of that. If you go on here, this is another site I found called Comic Art uh, Community. And this, I think, has got all his covers all together in one place. I'm pretty sure. So I zoom in there, you get to see kind of more of his, uh, more of his work, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, the level of detail he puts into his artwork is uh, quite phenomenal. And it's, almost, it's almost like a painting. Like the level of detail he puts in it, it's kind of almost like a painting, but it's but it's obviously not. It's obviously a comic book. 
Um, it's just very, very impressive, very high level. And I guess the band must have contacted him because they liked his work, because he worked for Marvel and because he worked for uh, DC. Uh, they must have loved what he made for them. So let's keep going. Let's go through here. There's a few more. Here we are, some more comic books. Those are rad. Yeah, definitely, Nick. I mean, definitely a great source of inspiration. I mean, absolutely incredible work. Look at that Wonder Woman. That is, that is awesome. Let's keep going through these. A few more. Yeah, like I say, I couldn't really find much information about the Disturbed cover itself. I only mostly found his artwork um, on uh, on this comic book gallery, which is just is absolutely mind blowing. How many how many covers he has done, and how many sort of, of the big name characters he he has illustrated? It is just absolutely insane. Uh, let's keep going. One last page, and we'll see what happens. Let's see. I don't know if there's any others. Let's have a look. Oh, remind me later. I still need to update Java. Uh, I think those are probably the big ones. Look at this. Let's have a look at this one. Not a huge DC fan, I'll be honest with you. I'm more of a Marvel fan, but this is still like really epic looking artwork. Really awesome stuff. Um, so the only thing I did find that was Disturbed related was a, a concept cover he did for Disturbed, which obviously they never used. Um, so this is the only thing I have found, uh, unless one of you guys manages to find more about it. So he did a Disturbed album cover concept. So this is the only thing I've actually found. I haven't found any information about how he created the cover, unfortunately. I would have loved to have found something, but unfortunately it's just one of those things. Sometimes you don't find much information. Um, so yeah, so that's... Uh, uh, Frank Miller is the other big artist that does Batman. Yeah, of course. Um so that's, uh, that's David Finch. He is from Canada. Uh, he still goes to comic conventions and stuff, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he still goes there. Uh, oh, so in 2012, he was at Comic Con in San Diego. Won a bunch of awards, of course. But you can see kind of like the amount of work he's done. There's tons of info about him. And yeah, so, um, and of course, uh, Disturbed being like probably one of my favorite works by him. I mean, it's just uh, an amazing album cover. Uh, so that's uh, album of the week this week, guys. Um, it is uh, indestructible by Disturbed. So yeah, indestructible uh, by Disturbed, um, and the artist was David Finch. Uh, great artwork, and uh, yeah, I hopefully can find some more of a, uh, more of his art. And if you guys manage to find any information about this piece, because I couldn't find anything, uh, but yeah, if you guys manage to find anything, feel free to paste it on the um, on the Discord. That'd be great.